and speak a charm Take the weather from your heart And wait for more than your time <laughs> this is pretty miserable weather down here at the market. Just come down to get some um, tempeh actually and some vegetables. Um, I mean to be going for a run a little bit later on, uh, but this weather, as you can see, is not brilliant. It's flow and mino. I went out for a bit of a, a run around our local area this morning just in case the weather got so miserable I wouldn't be able to go for a run. But um, I think a little bit later on, hopefully it'll clear up and I can get out to um, Risenbrook Dam and go for a run up Mount Direction. Well, it is a completely different story right now with the weather. This morning we headed out to the uh, Risenbrook Dam to just to check things out. And I was hoping to get a bit of a run, but I thought there's not much point really heading up a mountain if you can't actually see anything when you get there. Um, at least if you're going to be taking your video camera with you. So, um, we're heading back out again. Well, that's where we're headed today. Um, Mount Direction. It's not the world's most scenic run, probably, or the most scenic mountain, but I reckon from the top the views will be pretty good. And it's a nice start to get back into to a um, bit of climbing again. A bit out of the wind here, uh, just on the first rise. I missed the turn down there. I um, don't know how I managed that, but missed the turn. And uh, first little bit of a hill here, just testing out the Sony. I've got it on a different picture profile here and done a little bit of fiddling with the settings. So. I'm hoping that this might turn out a little bit better than the last time up on Thark Ridge. So far it doesn't look too bad I don't think, but let's get going. Alright, that was a bit of a side by side comparison. GoPro versus Sony and I bet you, I bet you the, the GoPro looks better. See you when we get home, huh? That is one steep hill, I tell you. Didn't film any of that coming up there because it is steep and pretty long. But I think I'm getting close to the top now. So, just a little bit, and then we'll see if we can get to that can up there. This is it, Mount Direction. Actually, not too bad. It's a bit better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, hell of a lot of wind here. Unfortunately, there's a signal station or whatever it is behind me there, which is not so attractive, but otherwise, some great views actually. Back there, which you probably can't see directly into the sun there is Mount Faulkner, where we were a few months ago. And then over the back to to Mount Dromedary. So, not too bad at all really. I think we'll pop down that way and see if we can see Hobart. Oh, I think Nord is here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. 
back from mount direction wasn't too bad actually it was a good way to compare the sony with the gopro so i'll be interested to see what that footage is yeah. like if you're going to film this i might grab the canon oh good idea good idea along with the um um sony we picked up a gimbal and oh yeah so we got one of these little zion crane so it'll be interesting to see how this compares to the footage that we took last week with the, with yeah. the canon okay I'd forgotten how tough they can be, those only short towards the end of our training we were doing um, 40 minute repeats but not quite as fast as those so that wasn't too bad actually for the first speed session or the interval session after the race pretty happy with that took it a little bit easy because I don't want to do myself any damage at the moment I always find that the very first heel session can can maybe give me a bit of stiffness in the hamstring so feeling pretty good now I just head home got about 20 minutes 20 minutes cool down now to get home and uh, sun's coming up time for some breakfast I think guys the, the best coffee in Hobart is up at our place but if you do have to have one in town you could do an awful lot worse than over here at Atlas Cafe right on Macquarie Street really nice staff and beautiful position I tell you you know when you're getting old when uh, by the model of your shoe I've just um, occurred to me that I've got my first ultras on the very first ultras that I ever bought and that's these the um, the Atom we wore these for a couple of years, I think from maybe 2011 through to 2013, pretty much everywhere. But um, next couple of days, we've got Easter coming up now, so in the next couple of days, we've got a couple of trips planned to get us out of the city, up into the mountains, where we're really happiest, I think. So look forward to that. And in the meantime, if you like what we're doing here with these videos, guys, click on that like button, subscribe, share it with others, and we will see you next week. Yeah, I'll see you next week. Happy Easter. Happy Easter.